hello, I'm Anna Wilds, the Franchise Economist. Welcome to today's Franchise Minute. Today's topic is painting franchises. And we have a special guest today, Dustin Costero with Line Painting, who's going to field some questions for me after we watch the Franchise Minute video. All right, let's begin. Welcome to the Franchise Minute. I'm Anna Wilds, the Franchise Economist, and today's topic is painting franchises. They are part of the massive multi-billion dollar home improvement industry. There are over two dozen painting franchises I work with that focus on residential and commercial structures. How do they differentiate themselves from each other? In a lot of ways. For example, they're emerging franchises with great territory availability, whereas others have been established for years and have limited availability. Some can be started well under $100,000. Others require more than double that. It all boils down to finding the right match for you and your preferences as the business owner. And that's what I'm here for. And there are no costs to you for my services. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Anna Wilds YouTube channel and come back next Wednesday. I'm Anna Wilds, the Franchise Economist. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dustin, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Anna. I appreciate it. Oh, I am delighted to be working or having you on this podcast. Uh, I, as I mentioned, my husband used to own a painting franchise. I'm a big fan. I have to, you know, be upfront about that and let everyone know that I know painting, it pays and it pays and it pays. What my research says is that every four to seven years, a structure is going to need painting. So it's just like <laughs> friends of mine who are realtors, sometimes they same, sell the exact same house three, four, or five times. And every time they sell it, that's been it gets painted or at least touch-ups to sell it. Then the new owners come in and they repaint it to the color scheme that they want. And then when they sell it, they touch it up and the same thing happens over and over again. That's a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> About paint yes. businesses. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, there are so many painting franchises out there. How do they differentiate themselves from each other? Or specifically, how does line painting differentiate itself? Yeah, and that's a great thing is I can't speak to how other painting companies differentiate themselves. Um, how Lime does is we target the top 30% um, of home values. We're working with those high-end customers. Our average ticket size is four times the national average. Now, that doesn't wow. even touch in on the multiple facets of CRM, how technology-based our company is to make it easy on our franchisees. But we have a lot of things put in place where we're targeting a demographic that nobody else is working with. And it's the high-end, upper-end clientele. And it sounds like those are the people that are going to be more insulated from economic downturns. Is that right? I, I completely agree with that. When you're looking at that, that top 30% of home values, these are the people that have those assets. They want to protect that home as an asset. Um, and that's really where it's set up is not only that, we're helping break into commercial, we're working through all of that, but you are correct. Um, they are more insulated from the economic downturns that our nation turn, tends to see. Well, one thing that I always get asked about with any potential new business owner is, the labor market's pretty tight now. So how does line painting help its franchisees or does it help its franchisees recruit the painters that they need for the production? Yeah, and that's a wonderful question, which, you know, with the labor pool tightening, we hear that a lot. The great thing about the line model is we're not hiring, training, and recruiting employees. What we're doing is our national partnerships are heavily vested in the line model because we, shell, we sell their top end products. So Sherwin Williams, Benjamin Moore, PPG, these companies are put in place. They're vested in our corporation, but they're helping us with recruiting what we call artists 
artisans. Now, artisans are subcontractors, are painters out there. The reason we call them artisans is because it's truly artistic the way that they're able to paint these coatings, replace these jobs and handle all of that. But they're so vested in us that they're helping us recruit the top end. And that's the great part about the subcontractor model we're putting in place is our line franchisees are simply keeping these artisans busy. And then these artisans don't have to go out and book jobs themselves, we're just filling them up and then they're constantly in rotation completing the jobs for our franchisees. Well, that's fantastic. One of the things that I do know about Lime is that you offer up to, what is it, 40 different services? Can you elaborate on that? That's certainly a, a big way to differentiate yourself in the market. Yeah, so the thing that I love to tell everybody is when you approach a home and look at it, every piece has a surface. That surface can be painted. So whether you're looking at interior painting cabinets, looking at grout work, metal coatings, drywall texturing, all the way up to surface restoration, we're handling everything and outside stamped concrete. So when you look at a home, we're approaching these homeowners with not, hey, Anna, can I paint your home? We're coming with the solution of, hey, weather has hit your stucco here. Instead of having to replace the entire exterior, we can fix this part, refinish the entire outside, and then it also comes with a warranty so you're set to go. But really what we're doing is we're coming with solutions, not an acquisition or a question of, hey, can we repaint your home? So how do you get clients? How do you get customers? I mean, you're not knocking door to door, are you? Well, so the great part about it is technology, like I said earlier, that we have different. We target the demographic in the households that we're looking for. Um, we do a lot of things through SEO, marketing, search engine optimization. Um, but also when we're working in these communities, it's very easy to put out a line, do a little bit of what's called guerrilla marketing, get that sign out there have our artisans wearing lime painting shirts. And then it's very easy for me to say, hey, across the street, I'm doing um, Anna Stucco. How would you like it if I met you tomorrow? We walked your home right here and I told you everything I could do to give you the same exact white glove service that we're giving Anna across the street. Does 11 or 12 o'clock work better for you? And that's the great thing about that is that's mm -hmm. the way that we're building this business. We also have leads that we're generating for our franchisees and getting them directly in there. Um, but the way that it's set up is truly through technology. We're a very technology-driven company. That's what I have noticed. The two areas that I think painting franchises differentiate themselves from the independent local painters are the local companies, the owner is painting. What my understanding is, is franchisees don't paint. They grow and manage a business and lead their team or teams. Is that right? That's more what you're looking for is my understanding. And you are so correct in that. When we're working with the elite, they expect a white glove service. So what that means is we start up at the gutters. The reason we start at the gutters is because that controls every surface on the way down. So when we're speaking to these homeowners and letting them know, we can do multiple services. So what that means is they don't have multiple crews coming out. They're speaking to one point of contact, which is our Lime franchisee, and we're relationship building while we're there. The great thing that you're mm -hmm. going to come to find out with our model is we'll go out and we'll paint the of a home, they'll have us back two to three weeks later to do the interior because we did such a fantastic job. So that's the way that it's really put in place um, with our national uh, sponsorships. What we have put in place with all of our companies is they're here to make sure we have the best artisans or subcontractors to do the work correctly. And I'm going to say that's what my husband's experience was. You put that sign in the front yard, and if you're in a subdivision, everybody in that subdivision. <laughs> that sign and he got so much work with with zero cost just the cost of that sign which yep. was nothing yeah that's great so let's talk specifically about what you're looking for in a franchisee because we've already covered they don't paint that's not the job or the role of a franchisee so what skills and characteristics are you looking for so we like more hands-on owner occupied 
Um, reason that I say that is that you're not buying a job here, you're building an empire. Now, not that you can't be a semi-absentee owner. We prefer if you are a semi-absentee owner to have past business ownership experience. Um, simple mm -hmm. reason, then you're better managing the company and building it that route. But with an owner-occupied owner, what we're looking for um, is more hands-on to have managerial experience, able to oversee, um, understand how to build it correctly. So we have all the tools and technology in place. Just the reason that we feel owner-occupied works a little bit better um, is simply because they're going to be more vested in the business nobody's going to work as hard for you as you are going to for yourself that's exactly right and that is the economic engine of the franchise business model is the owner has his or her own money on the line it's not like they're going to call in sick today <laughs> they're going to power through it and they're going to show up and their enthusiasm their inspiration and their motivation is what helps the business to grow. Absolutely. Okay. Now, the last question is, what are your minimum financial qualifications for someone who would be interested in lime painting? Yeah, so the way we have our setup is 75 liquid, 150 net worth. Um, and again, the reason we have it set up that way is simply because of SBA financing, which I'm sure you're well versed in and making sure that they're qualified for. Um, so again, mm -hmm. we are in the area, we don't want to sell territories to people that can't get them open. So we want to make sure our candidates have the wherewithal to get the financing necessary um, to get this business open and running. Well, thank you so much for being here, Dustin. You've provided a lot of information, helpful information to people about line painting. And if anyone who's listening is interested in knowing whether or not a painting franchise is right for you, please do contact me, Anna Wilds, the franchise economist. Connect with me on LinkedIn, follow the Anna Wilds YouTube channel, and I'll be glad to work with you. And as was mentioned earlier, there's no cost to you for my services. Great companies like Lime Painting pay me to find the talent they're looking for. So I'm like a franchise recruiter. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Come back next week at 1130 when our topic will be health franchises. Thanks so much for joining us.